What's up everyone? Today I'm going to be showing you how to kill the Skeletons Lords boss or bosses in Dark Souls 2. It's the first boss you'll run into located in the Huntsman's Copse as long as you don't go towards the uh, boss that runs around in a circle. I forget what his name is. The, the horse that runs around the room. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is immediately start attacking the guy on the far left when, you, when they spawn. It's uh, the guy that has the scythe, and he is going to be the one that chases you the hardest. Um, so it's very easy to tell which one he is. He's not hard to kill at all. Um, actually, none of them are very hard to kill. But the reason you want to kill him first is because whichever boss you kill depends on which type of skeleton spawn where they die at. So the guy with the scythe spawns these skeletons with swords and shields. They're very easy to kill, and they're very easy to uh, fight when you have the two other bosses rolling around. So you definitely don't want to kill the boss with the staff first. Otherwise, you're going to have the skeletons that roll the pinwheel skeletons from the first game. You'll see them at the end here. So based on whichever boss you kill, wherever he dies at, that's where the skeletons are going to spawn a few seconds later. Once they start rising up, you can attack them immediately. You've got about five seconds before they can actually move and will start swinging at you. So what I do is kill one of the bosses, try to run to the other side of the room for a few seconds to get the other two bosses to follow me, and then come back <coughs> uh, come back and start killing the skeletons. Uh, the, the bosses are actually able to be backstabbed, and it does help a lot. It does a lot of damage, um, so you can do that as well if you like. So the second boss you're going to want to kill is the boss you see there. He doesn't really have a staff. He's got a spear staff kind of thing. Um, you'll, you'll tell which one he is. He, he, he's not the guy with the big giant staff, and he follows you a little bit harder than this guy. Um, kill him, and then you get the, uh, some more skeletons that spawn with swords and shields. Same thing as before. Kill them, and you can use these pillars that sit around the room to help you dodge the fireballs from um, this boss right here and the one that you just killed. I think he shoots out fireballs as well. So use the pillars to your advantage. Kind of walk around them when you need to. Once he casts a fireball there, you can... Well, I didn't do it there, but you can walk them, walk the fireballs into the pillars. So kill the skeletons that are in this guy's wake. And really just take your time. If you get overwhelmed, run to the other side of the room. The skeletons will follow you a lot quicker than this guy will and the, and the guy you just killed. So now that everybody's dead, you move on to the guy with the big giant staff. Not hard to kill at all. He's got the health of a normal... A normal uh, person, really. I'm trying to get a backstab on him, and I just can't seem to get it there. Alright, so he dies. Now you can really see how the skeleton spawns since I'm standing right here. There he blows up, and there they come. These are the skeletons you have to save for last. If you kill this guy first, it's going to be a very tough battle. And you'll see right here, these they start rolling past me. There goes one, and you don't want them guys to hit you. They don't do as much damage as they did in the first game. Um, but they still are a pain in the butt, and you would definitely want to save him for last. So that's it for the guide. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, and comment. See ya.